at the 350. Pace maker, Sacred Park from Role Model on the outside. Two links away, Lucky Feather. Fantastic honor is next. Saki Soldier in behind these. Then came Touche. It's Role Model at the 200 meters. Role Model in front. Sacred Park's in for the scrap, though. They're going to sit down to fight it out. Lying third, Lucky Feather with Lord Turbo. But it's uh, Sacred Park and Role Model. Sacred Park, too big, too tough, too good. And an absolutely delighted rider, Rory Hutchings. Has the 2000 Guineas always been in the back of your mind for this horse? Yeah, it has. Obviously, it was very impressive. Um, it has only started as a two-year-old, and um, he always looked like a horse that uh, would suit the 2000 Guineas. So, you know, that was definitely always his target as a spring three-year-old. He has looked like he's progressing well into the race. Have you been happy with his preparation? Yeah, it's been pretty faultless, really. Um, we probably took the, soft, the softest path we could with him. Um, obviously, the Bone Crusher Stakes and the Wellington Guineas probably you know, weren't rated as highly as possibly the Hawke's Bay Guineas or the Annie Sarton at uh, Te Rapa, but he's improved with each start and he's going the right way and he's, he's in form. His win in the Wellington Guineas was very tough. Do you think this horse has the mental maturity to cope at this level? Yeah, I think that's his big asset. And, you know, he's a very laid-back colt and he only really does what he has to do, so he doesn't take anything extra out of himself. And, um, you know... He came back from Wellington 8 up and he's, he's thrived this week. So he's one of those horses, I think that's his, his biggest attribute is his, his mental, mental toughness and he just takes everything in his stride. How would you like to see the conditions of this race run for him to be competitive at the weekend? It'll be interesting to see how big the field ends up. Um, there's obviously still a few question marks around a few of the runners. So, look, he's, he's pretty adaptable. If there's a lot of speed in a race, he can sit off, off the speed. Or as he showed at, at Wellington, you know, if there's no speed, he can lead. So, you know, he's pretty adaptable in that sort of way. And um, that's why we pay the jockeys the big money. Leading into a Group 1 race, are you happy with where your horse is at? Yeah, he galloped this morning. Uh, he worked very, very well. That's his last series piece of work. He'll have a quiet gallop on Wednesday and fly down Thursday. So, you know, he's, he's a hard fit horse now and he's, he's in good form and, you know, couldn't be happier with him.